In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to create a virtual data room using Orange Docs. First thing you want to do is go to orangedocs.com and hit get started. Next, you want to sign in with your Google Drive account or your Dropbox account. By doing so, this is going to sync your Google Drive with Orange Docs. Next, you want to go within Orange Docs and click the data room app. Then you can go ahead and click a new room. First step is to choose a title for your data room. This is something your participants are going to see. So in this case, we're going to choose our demo company called Morel, and we're going to call it our demo Morel data room. Next thing to do is to choose a folder. Now again, this is going to be synced with your entire Google Drive. So we have three different options to choose from here. You can choose for files that have been shared with you, your shared drives, and your My Drive. If you are looking to go ahead and choose the shared drives, make sure that you actually have access, at least manager access to that drive, and the, that drive has the ability to share files outside your organization. Otherwise, you won't be able to go ahead and add that particular folder. In this case, I'm going to choose from a My Drive, and I'm going to choose our Data Room Example folder. Hit the Select button, and that will choose that folder, which will now be synced with your Data Room. So everything within that particular room, all these folders and subfolders and files, will automatically be included within the room. And anytime you make changes in the future, that'll automatically be synced with your room. No need to upload files to Orange Docs. We'll go ahead and hit Next. Now we have a variety of different options to secure the room. This includes things like whether or not we will allow the files to be downloaded from the room. A lot of our customers choose to disable this option. And the reason for that is to ensure that when you share these files with your participants, that they don't download them and share it with somebody else. Keep in mind, for Google, in this case, there's only a certain number of types of files that we allow uh, previewing for, and those are the ones that we allow uh, to be disabled for downloading. Any files that we don't allow previewing for will still be able to be downloaded. For instance, Excel files. If you want to have an Excel file included with your room, and have disabled downloading so it can be previewed, uh, convert it into a Google Sheet first, and then go ahead and share that. So in this case, we allow for previewing, we allow things like PDFs, uh, Sheets, Google Sheets, Slides, uh, Docs, uh, things like video, MP3 file, or audio files like MP3, and video files like MP4 files to be previewed. And those, those file types can have downloading disabled. Orange Docs works a little bit different than other providers when it comes to security. So instead of giving your participants a login, so username and password, which can easily be shared, we do security based upon devices. Meaning that when you send access, you're going to give access uh, and grant access to a limited number of devices per participant. A device would be, say for instance, their phone, their laptop, their work computer, things like that. So in this case, we can choose exactly how long we want each participant's device, the access to last for on that device. By default, it's three months, and you can choose anywhere between 15 days to a year, or just disable it completely. You can also choose how many devices each participant can have. Uh, so you can choose up to five devices participant. But remember, the more devices a participant have, then the higher chance they could easily then forward one of their devices to somebody else. So it's good to keep this number low, um, also, you have the ability to resend access to a participant if, say, for instance, they open on their phone by accident and they want to open on their work computer when they get to work. You can easily, again, send them another device. So in this case, we'll leave it at one. What we do initially is add your account to have access to the room. And this will let you go ahead and preview the room before you add your participants, ensuring your room looks correct. You got the right branding, you got the right files in there. And all the files preview correctly the way that you want them to. Final step is to determine how you want to send the room. Do we want to go ahead and automatically email the participant uh, with, a, with an auto email from Orange Docs, or do you want to manually send an email to them? If you want to manually send an email, we will give you a link unique to that participant that you can paste in the email, and then you can write a customized email for them. Remember, each of those links for each participant is unique. So you need to send a different link for each participant, which we give you. For now, we'll use the automatic. Here, right now the room is created, we can go ahead and change a variety of the internal options. We can change the title, add a description. We can see those source files. We can see that this is based upon a Google Drive folder. 
And we can even open that up to have a look exactly what the files are going to be included within the room. We also have provided those options that we chose. We have the ability to allow or disable download. Um, we have the ability to, again, see how, many, how what's the device expire? How many devices do we have? Are we automatically delivering the email? Um, things like that. And finally, the participants. The first thing we're going to want to do is preview the room. What is it going to look like to a participant? We hit preview, and we'll be able to see exactly what the room is going to look like for each participant. Um, you can see here the custom branding for Morel, our demo company, as well as the title of the room. We can also add a description. We can see also the full, all the folders and the files are included within the room that are included within our Google Drive. It's exactly the same list. Again, we can add and remove files to here and it'll automatically sync within about a minute or two within our room. There's no need to make any uh, changes to Orange Docs. It'll automatically update for you. Here we have a Google Doc. As we can see, we can preview that within Orange Docs. Uh, there is no easy way to download this either. Again, we've disabled downloading. So we'll just be able to preview this and our participants will be the same, be able to preview it. Uh, also things such as PDFs, like our non-disclosure agreement here. Uh, we can preview this online. Again, no way to download it unless we've chosen downloading option for that particular room. And finally, we can add things such as our product demo, maybe uh, a video to that. Again, that's previewable right within the browser and no easy way to download that. Remember, any other files that we can't preview, things like Excel, you can simply convert them to something like Google Sheets or even a PDF. And then we can go ahead and preview it and disable that downloading. Back on the Norwich Docs, now we're ready. We're really ready to send this to somebody else. So the first thing we want to do is enter the email. You can also bulk upload from a CSV file if they have quite a few number of email that you want to add at once. We'll hit enter there. And finally, we'll confirm that change to ensure, yes, we would love to send it to this person. Doing so will automatically send an access email to that participant. What does that look like? Well, here's the email how it's going to look. It's going to be your name has added you to a data room. Your name and your email, uh, just to ensure they know where this is coming from. And finally, they'll be able to click on uh, the link and access the room. In doing so, they're going to get this message. And it's going to tell them they have one device only, again, phone, laptop, desktop, to access this data room for 90 days. Once they confirm the device, then that link will automatically take them to the data room. There's no need for any login or anything like that. Again, if they have used the full number of devices or trying it on a device that is not, we don't recognize, they will get an access denied error. And in that case, they still can access the room, but they'll need to go ahead and sign in to Orange Docs using a verified Google account. Going back to Orange Docs, we can now see that we've created a new room. And we have a bunch of different metrics now on that room. We can see that one of two people have accessed the room. And if we expand this, we can see that is our us, our demo account, has accessed it. And they viewed it for three different files. Clicking on that, we can see each specific file that we accessed, including for things like PDFs and Google Sheets, what pages were viewed and for how long, as well as when exactly what date that was accessed, and if you click that, what specific hour it was accessed on. Finally, what, what if we want to say, for instance, disable access to somebody? Well, simply click on the title of the room and we'll get a list of those participants again. And we can easily disable access by clicking the disable button or re-enable it if need be. Finally, what if somebody, say for instance, Chad has come back and said, hey, I've accessed on my phone by accident. Could you send me access again? No problem. All you need to do is hit the resend access button and they will get a new email with a fresh set of devices, in this case, one device. Now they can go ahead and open that on their work computer or wherever they need to. And hopefully this gives you an overview of how to create a data room using Orange Docs.